ZPD's first rabbit officer, Judy Hops. Ready to make the world a better place? Spoilers, even though everyone else in the world seems to think this is the best movie ever, to me it's a B- minus at best. But now that I've gone and probably upset someone, let's go ahead and just jump right into this with artistic intent versus audience interpretation. Something I found myself frequently thinking about as I was watching Zootopia, a gleaming city where animals of all breeds predator and prey alike live together in peace and harmony. Which is great. It is, really. That is a very good message about society to put inside of a kid's movie. But the problem at hand isn't so much content as it is execution. I'm all for using anthropomorphic animals as a societal allegory about inequality, but you need to be careful. Because depending on which animals end up being in the various societal roles will determine the overall effectiveness of your allegory. And if said allegory paints predator animals as the minority and the prey animals as your majority, I mean, do I even need to say it? Because the movie does. A lot. A lot. A lot. To the point where I kind of want to make a drinking game when Zootopia is on video, where you take a shot every time they say the word predator or prey, and you do a double shot if they say both within five seconds. All joking aside, the point I'm trying to make here is this movie had a lot going for it. Great voice acting, amazing animation, and some really good ideas behind it that were just sadly realized in really awkward ways that don't work. And the more you think about them, the worse they get. Yes, this is a kid's movie and said kids will go ape shit over the fun characters in the comedy whether or not there's an allegoric reference to something Hillary Clinton said in 1996. Not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. Now I know I'm coming down really hard on this movie, but that's only because some parts of it are amazing and other parts of it are really, 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 really annoying. And that disjointed feeling comes from the fact that this movie had seven writers and three directors. Technically, we should be thankful the movie came out as good as it did. Because remember, I did say that this movie gets a B-, minus, which is a pretty okay score, all things considered. The film honestly just feels like it needed less cooks in the kitchen, because at no point did I ever feel like it was openly attacking anybody. It never actually came across as racist. It just didn't handle the theme of equality that it was trying to get across all that well. Which happens when your movie has seven writers and three directors. Directors. If you like the movie though, all power to you my friends, but for whatever my two cents is worth, the entire affair needed to be a bit tighter and have less Godfather references in it. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I love you, bye bye!